so we have done yesterday step number 4.1 and it is related to the posting period variant so what do you mean by the posting period variant it is going to control the opening and closing of period so through this posting period variant we can open and close the period account type wise and if you want to apply same rule you apply you want to open or close period for all your account type in this case you can use the plus sign then after this we have assigned that posting period variant to the company code and uh, after the assignment of posting period variant to the company code we have discussed about the field status field status as i just shared with you yesterday it is going to control the fields in which you will be or as a user they when we, when the user is going to make the accounting entry so those field which they will see on the screen so those can be those can be controlled so this field set is variant and this field set is variant is maintained at which level company code level and uh, under this field set is variant we have the field set as group so this field set as group uh, we will be assigning to the gl and uh, based on the nature of gl we will be assigning the field status group for example we have the field status group as general material consumption material type asset clearing customer vendor so based on the type of account we have so we can assign the relevant field status group and uh, how we can do it in the system so we have the step number 6.1 you will follow the path as pro img once again we can go to the doc finance or financial accounting then general ledger accounting not general ledger global setting document and in the document this time we can we will go to the line item because this field status we are working on this is related to the line item so go to the line item actually when you are doing the posting when you or when the users are creating the document so the document has two parts one is the document header you can just see document header under which we have yesterday created the um, document type we, we maintain the number range okay and once we have maintained this number range under the document header so now we need to come to the line item because under the line item we will have the fields and those fields we need to manage as suppress, record or optional. Then here it is saying that we need to go to the control. Under the control we have this field status variant. Click on this. And I have told you yesterday that we have been given the standard field status variant by the SAP. Where you can just see all the fields have been already managed okay so for example if we take the example of journal data then if you go to the next group okay so here with the help of this button you can go to the next group what do you mean by next group this month okay so these groups you will be able to see so now i will go to the next group which is the additional account assignment you can just see all these fields already managed or under this the status is already managed by the sap so we can make the fine tuning we can make the small changes as per our requirement otherwise like most of the work is already done by the sap now if we need to create this field set as a variant from the scratch so first of all we need to create all these field status group because each field status group we need to create and under the under the each field set as group what is the rule we required for those 70 fields so that we need to manage manually which is a tedious task so i give you example first i'll go with the copy option so here we need to copy the field set as variant from the standard one which we also use in the real time so select this field set as variant triple zero one and then click on the copy as option give your id so this field set as variant id we can maintain up to the four characters this is the length provided by the sap so here it can be alphanumeric let it be the same as our company code id which is double two double three so this is what this is the field status variant for double two double three enter 
so you will get this message that do you want to copy all the data from your reference from your source field status variant yes click on the copy all option because we have seen under the triple zero one field status variant we have 41 groups okay so those 41 groups are your dependent entries so those system is going to copy click on the copy option you can just see it is giving you the message that 41 groups got copied or 41 dependent entries got copied now click on the enter button and if you want to make the changes for example here we have the field status group first we need to just save it enter go to the group let's say first group i will take g01 and we have the text information okay so the text field i want to make it as mandatory so presently it is optional but i want to make it as required save click on the save option wherever i will be assigning this field status group whatever the gl it is let and in that gl if we are doing the posting then without text system will not allow us to post the document i'll just show you also so this is how we have created the field status variant now what we need to do we need to assign the field status variant to the company and before that if you need to create your own field status variant without copy option so how you will be able to do it i will quickly tell you so here we can go to the new entry option give the id let's say in the id is double two zero one or zero three this is the same field status variant id i am going to take for double two double three and in this if you just see the information is blank no dependent entries we need to create the field status group manually okay so let's create the single field status group or some random field status group it is g01 g002 g003 g003 and so on so forth okay and this is for what journal setting or general field status group then we have it for material type or material account then we have for the material consumption and then enter so now if you go to the first one you can just see we have all those fields available under the group if you go to the group you can just see by default by default the status of all your fields not only under this group but other group will be optional so we need to go to the inch inch field and we need to manage a suppress recorder option so that is the reason we go with the copy option because it is time taking so now we can come out of here and we can go to the next step now the next step is 6.2 where we need to assign this field status variant to the company code and this assignment can be done with the same path go back i don't want to save it you can just see under the define field status variant you have the assign option assign the company code to the field status variant click on this and click on the position button company code id is double two double three and you can just see here it is showing you your field status variant id is blank so what's our field status variant id and double two double three save it click on the save option and then we can come out of here after completing this step number 6.2 we have the step number 7 step number 7 is related to the tolerance group tolerance group means authorization authorization of what authorization of posting the document authorization of accepting the difference or giving the cash discount to the customer or uh, to the vendor then what else we have so here we can also give the authorization for opening and closing the periods so if we have a particular user so they can only change the period nobody else so this kind of authorization we maintain under the tolerance group we maintain under the tolerance group and other authorization so if the user should be given the access how much or which role and that user should be assigned to so all these activities are done by whom 
GRC team. So if any kind of access is required, so for example, user is entering some transaction code and message is coming that you are not authorized to use the transaction code, run the transaction code. So this is if this is related to finance, no, this is not related to finance. This is related to security. So we have a security consultant in our project. So based on that role user has been assigned. So uh, like he will be given the authorization to make the accounting entry, how much amount he can post and uh, uh, and what type of transaction code he will be given the access to. So this kind of activities are controlled by the basis consultant. But here for some basic activities of security or uh, this access, we need to work on this tolerance group so here we will be maintaining a tolerance group tolerance group means we will be creating a group of users similar type of users we will group together so here we will be having the employee tolerance group under the employee tolerance group we can have the group for the for the different different types of uh, profile for example we have the clerk we have manager we have the assistant manager we have mm -hmm. finance uh, manager finance at product manager so for this kind of supervisor then it is the ap user ar user so for this kind of finance user will be creating the tolerance group so whatever the authorization you have given to a particular tolerance group and if you have assigned to 10 people same group you have assigned to 10 people so those 10 people will have the same same uh, system access so they will be able to post a document up to that amount only why because the similar rights you have given under the tolerance group or that uh, group you have created ar or ap group so it is saying that in this basic setting what is the role of this tolerance group so we'll will be giving the access how much a user would be able to post the accounting entry in the gl how much he would be able to move, move, uh, post the accounting entry in the for your for your vendor outgoing payment and for your vendor invoice payment so that limit we will be giving under this tolerance group and how it is to be given for that once again we need to go to the path here we need to go to the this come out from the control and we need to go to the financial accounting general ledger accounting so let's go to the general ledger accounting come out of from come out of this fags go to the general ledger accounting business transaction then we can go to the open item clearing clearing difference and here you will find three tolerance group we need to work on three activities one we need to define the tolerance group for the gl second we need to define the tolerance group for the employees and third we need to assign the tolerance group for uh, to our to uh, sorry whatever the tolerance group we have assigned so that we have created in this step so we need to assign to the user id so for example you have been given the user id to that user id if the authorization is not assigned so we need to assign that authorization to this step so first let's go with the step number one define tolerance group for the gl and click on the new entry button what is the company code in which you want to maintain this uh, posting rights or posting control so it is the company code double two double three if you want to create any tolerance group no so we'll be using the blank tolerance group what do you mean the blank tolerance group blank tolerance group which we will be creating for all minimum posting powers which you want to give to all okay so if any user if any user has not been assigned any tolerance group so he is by default part of the blank tolerance group so he would be able to post the amount we are going to we are going to mention under this blank tolerance group how much amount it is let's go back and then go to the next step so that amount that authorization we or the discount part how much discount user would be able to give so we can mention under the second step we define the tolerance group for the employees click on the new entry button 
again because you kept your tolerance group blank so here you will be keeping the tolerance group blank <coughs> company code id double two double three so this is the authorization okay so this is a small part of authorization the major part of authorization is controlled as i just shared with you by the security team by the security consult consultant like we are the finance consultant in the project we have the security consultant who would be managing all these things so here we need to give the amount limit this is the amount limit we want to give let's say it is hundred dollar and the amount limit we have for the this is actually this is for the GL posting the first one second is for the vendor posting so I'm made I'm keeping it as a hundred and US and 200 USD dollar so when we will be doing the posting so we will try to post more than that and we'll see where, what error will come so we'll come here and then we will increase the amount then the cash dis discount uh, percentage we need to maintain as let's say it is one percent and then we can save it enter and then we can go back so with this step we have almost complete our basic setting and what next we need to do so what are the setting we have made so we can check it under the step number eight we call it as global parameter so how to check it for that we can run transaction code it is transaction code is obi6 or you can also go through the path so let's have here the transaction code i'm going to use obi6 obi6 enter it will give you a list of company codes we need to find out our company code you can just see double two double three double click on this and you will see it will show you the information that we have a company code with this name this country this uh, uh, city country currency language we have set for this legal entity after that we can also see the chart of account id we have assigned we have assigned the trading partner internal trading partner id then we have all we can also see the fiscal year variant we can see field status variant posting period variant so these variants we will be able to see under the company code under the single screen now we have been given some checkboxes so let's have the first one checkbox the business area financial statement if you want to prepare your financial statement based on the business area apart from your company code you want to maintain your financials based on your business area in that case you can select this checkbox then after this we have the proposed fiscal year so under this proposed fiscal year if you want to see the document if you want to view the balance for any gl so in this case system is going to ask you the year for which financial year you want to see the balance for the gl or for which financial year you want to see the document in a particular company code so in that case if you want to maintain the current fiscal year as default so we can select this checkbox propose fiscal year so by default system is going to give you the uh, fiscal year field option as 2023 i'll just show you what i am talking about so let's check the gl account balance So this is the balance we have the we have for the fiscal year 2023 now if you want while using this transaction code system should default this fiscal year because the balance we may have also for the year 2022 2021 2020 like year 2020 but if you want to default the year 2023 because that is your current fiscal year so you need to select this checkbox then the next is the default value date so value date is the actual date or which date you have received any amount or you have given any amount so this value date is related to the interest posting or interest calculation or any in any gl if you want to calculate the interest how much interest we have to pay so that interest will be calculated from which date from your value date so interest is calculated based on your value date not based on your posting date so where this 
value rate field will come while posting the document i'll just show you so i'm going to let's say post one document so you can just see here value rate is coming and in this value date system is automatically taking the current date okay so why it is system is uh, like driving this date because here we have selected this checkbox default value date if we don't select this checkbox then what will happen this field will remain blank and every time if this field is to be entered every time user has to enter the user has to mention the value date so in order to skip that so we can select this checkbox then the system will automatically drive the value date over and above that if anybody or if any user wants to make the changes so they can do but system will take it automatically so for that automatic derivation we have this checkbox for the value date okay so with this setting we are going to save it and then press enter button so we are done with the basic setting okay so our config part has been done okay now it means our consultant part has been done now the user part will get started so as a user we need to test our data what we have config if it is working or not and also sometimes we need to assist the user also if they are not able to post the document if they are not able to create the gl if they have any query related to the document if they have any query related to the gl account so we need to uh, resolve their query we need to fix their issue which they are having while creating or while create while creating a gl or document so that is only possible if we know about the config data if we know about the master data so we have completed the config now it's uh, we need to work on the master data and in order to work on the master data we need to go to the first gl master data and before i go to the gl master data we have our more object that we don't need to like work on but we need to have the information about that because that is important so it is related to the posting key so let's discuss about the posting key so i'll go to the general ledger accounting gl accounting in this you will find posting of gl transaction or we call it as posting keys now what do you mean by posting key it is saying that if you make any accounting entry in that accounting entry we use debit and we use two so this dr we use for debit and this two we use for the credit so through this two and dr we are able to like understand that okay this cash here it, it is getting debited and this share capital is getting credited but in the sap we are not using this d dr and two then how user or we will come to know if this account is getting debited or credited and which type of account it is so to provide the information that it is a gl account vendor account and here you need to debit or it is used for debit and credit so we'll be using the posting key what do you mean with that let me just have the second slide It is saying that posting keys specify two things. It will have the control on two things. First, the line item, which we will be using for the debit and credit. So any GL which you will be using for debit and credit, in that you will be having the line item. So one line item you will have for debit and second you have for credit. It is saying that if you need to debit the GL, then you will be using the posting key 40. If you need to credit it, then you will be using the posting key 50. This is in which case, in case you have the account type as GL. You can just see to which account type the line item is posted to. If it is a vendor account, then we have a different set of posting keys. If it is a customer account, we have a different set of posting keys. If it is a asset account, we have a different set of posting keys. And who is going to manage all these posting keys so these posting keys are already given by the sap and these are standard so in the 99 percent like project we don't change these posting key you are going to see same posting keys in the real time also and this we will be using for posting the accounting entries
so here it is saying that this posting key we will be using to carry out our business transaction and through the posting key will be able to identify the gl if it is or we will be able to identify the account type so which type of account it is if it is a gl vendor customer or asset and a line item is or account is getting debited or credited so in this system if you want to find out a list of posting keys provided by the sap how to find out for this you can run a transaction code or you can also go through the path so let's have here the path as sproing and then these posting keys are also part of your document line item remember i just uh, told you that we need to post the document and in, in order to do the document posting so the document will have the two parts okay one or two segment it will have one is the document header second is the document line item so it will come under the document line item so here we need to go to the financial accounting and go to the financial accounting global setting document line item and we have here the option control you can just see the first option we have the define posting key click on this you will get a list of uh, posting keys here we have a list of posting key now this posting key is used for what okay so here we will get the information so 01 posting key we will be using for our customer and customer what we can do we can debit likewise we have 02 which we will be using for the customer only and this is to this is used to do the reverse to posting the credit memo with 01 you can post the sale invoice with 02 you can post the credit invoice okay. likewise for the bank charges for the receivable for the different different types of transactions which you will have with your customer and when you are going to debit him when you are going to credit him so which posting key we need to use so here we have been given a list of posting key by the sap but most important posting key we use like i have just shown you on in that ppt so those are the posting keys we, sh we should know about it because those are the basic posting key we use for the account type so we have 40 50 for gl we have 31 for the vendor credit the vendor we have 01 to debit the G to debit the customer 70 75 we use for the asset so these are the important posting key we should know now if you just go down this is what this is the account type customer you will also get the account type vendor gl asset material okay so for each account type you will get the debit credit and for each debit credit you will get the posting key okay so here we have the gl and if you just go a little up here we have the 40 50 40 we have to debit the gl account 50 we have to credit the gl account so this is we will be using while creating the document posting while like doing the document posting now we can go with the gl master data for the gl master data we need to go to the because it is a part like froze has asked who is going to create it so this this is a end user activity this is to be done by the business but we need to know about it if they will ask anything so we should not be blank so we need to go to the accounting then under the accounting we can go to the general ledger under the general ledger we can go to the option master record under the master record we have the option gl account individual pro individual processing and you can just see here we have a option called we have the option fs double zero is the transaction code which is very popular transaction code we use for the for managing the gl master data then we can see some uh, some like two more transaction codes are also there so we have fsp0 so this is a transaction code if actually when we are going to manage the gl master data so the gl master data information is split into the two parts we have two segment for the gl master data first segment is your chart of account segment you can just see chart of account segment and second segment is your company code data company code data remember we have discussed that a single chart of account can be used by the multiple company codes okay so that that particular control or uh, i would say use will be able to find out with the help of this chart of account and company code segment so chart of account the information 
वी आर मैनेजिंग अंडर द चार्ट ऑफ अकाउंट इट मीन्स दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज सेम टू ऑल द कंपनी कोड टू ऑल द कंपनी कोड आई गिव यू दैट एग्जाम्पल सो वी हैव कंपनी कोड ओके वी हैव द जी एल एंड दैट जी एल इज मैनेज अंडर द चार्ट ऑफ अकाउंट इट इज आई एन टी आई एन टी वन दिस इज वॉट चार्ट ऑफ अकाउंट और लेट्स टेक आर एग्जाम्पल डबल टू डबल थ्री दिस इज वॉट आर ऑपरेटिंग चार्ट ऑफ अकाउंट and this operating chart of account when i'm going to assign to my legal entry to my legal entity in us in india in australia in germany in great britain so these are the legal entities we have in these countries and in these legal entities we will be creating the or will be having the gls also okay now if you have assigned here we have the company code id as let's say 1000 2000 this is the company code id 3000 and this make the size small 2000 3000 then we have 4000 this is for germany and for uk we have a legal entity with id 5000 and to all these company code basically these are nothing but your company code to all these company code you have assigned the single chart of account operating chart of account it is 2233 but currencies we are following in these in these countries in these company code may be different for example here we have usd here we have inr we have australian dollar we have gbp we have uh, euro and then we have the gbp okay so currency is different across all these company code but some information is common and which co information is common that we manage under the chart of account so which type of information we maintain for all for all we maintain the information it is going to be the account group account group then the second information we maintain it is the type of account type of account so if it is a profit and loss account or balance sheet account then after this we give the text name of the gl text information so this information we keep same for all the company code okay so the name you have given for the us gl same gl same information will be giving for the indian company for the australian company for the german and for the for the uk company code but since we are using the different different currencies in these company code so we will be having the data this is the data we manage at which level chart of account level and the data which you will be managing at a company code level so that is my company code data and in this level which type of data you will control you will manage first of all you will be managing the currency we we'll have the currency setting okay we have the tax setting then we manage the line item what are the line item i just show you if for this company code or for this country we need the line item we need those line item to be managed with the open item management so these are the settings we maintain open item management so these are the control we have it at which level at a company code level then we have the sort key and we have the field status group so these fields you will find whenever you will be managing any of your gl master data and it is saying that the information you can maintain at these two level for all gls we will have to have the chart of account for all our gl 
and we also need to maintain the data for our company code level for all my GL. Okay. So now we are going to see the same thing in the system. So here we have the GL master data. First, you go to this screen. You can just see here we have fields one, like we have the tabs on this screen. One, two, three, four, five. And you can just go six tabs. You will see, okay. And only five, like first three tabs are important to us. Why first three tabs are important to us? Because the last three are only for the information purpose. So let's take any GL here. It is the cash GL. So this is the cash GL we have in our existing company code double one double two. And you can just see the information we have maintained for this for this GL in this company code at a which at which level at a chart of account level that is the first level so you can just see what type of information we maintain you can just see account group type of gl it is profit and loss for balance sheet then text information text here we have two fields one is the short field and one is the like it will have the short text it will have the long text okay. so we have been given the character length we can't enter more than that and if the length of the character should be long for the GL so we can mention that information in the second field. Now this is the information we maintain at a chart of account level. If you want to maintain the information at a company code level. So for that you can just see here we have the company code data. This you can just see chart of account data and here you can just see company code data. In this company code we have the currency option. We have that tax option. We have that line item data. We have the open item management sort key. So these controls are available under the company code data. And then we have the field status also. Okay. Now, if I go back and I go to the second option. Here it is saying that centrally means you will be manage both the segments. First level, second level. That is the chart of account company code. But with this option, you will be able to manage only first op first level. You will not be able to manage the second level. So for example, if I go with this, so I can just see only three tabs are coming. And in these three tabs, only first tab I can like work on. I, it is useful for us. The remaining two are only for the information purpose. So on the first single tab, what type of information we have? The same we have seen in our last screen. Okay. So we have the account group type of account and long short text and uh, long short or long or short text we have here. Now, if I need to work on the company code data for the same GL, what I need to do, I need to come out and I can just maintain the data here in the company code, okay? You will see here, we have been given the remaining tab, control data, bank interest tab, and the third is one is the, for the information. So three tabs system have in the chart of account and three we have in the company code, okay? But we can manage differently, but if you want to, manage both the tabs under the single uh, option so here we have the transition code or we have the option as centrally so now from tomorrow we'll start creating the gl and we'll uh, once our gls are ready so we can do the document posting